Come on, man. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. What's up, y'all? So, I work at this home improvement store called... Mm, you, mm, let's call it... Hald. H-A-L-D. Hald. Yeah. Anyway, I work in the lumber department. Now, working at Hald is... It's all right. There's a lot to do. There's literally no downtime. During the day, we maintain the store. We sweep the floors, we stock shelves, we flat stack. Basically, we make the store look good. Most of the time, I have coworkers. Even people from different departments come over and help out sometimes. But other times, I'm alone. Oh, crap. Which brings me to the customers, yay. We gotta do so much for customers. We gotta cut their lumber, we gotta help them design stuff, we gotta drive vehicles to get stuff down from the overhead, or bring stuff to their vehicles, and we get to tell people where stuff is in the store. So we've got about three types of customers. There's the good type. They help my day go faster. They help load the heavy stuff, sometimes they leave tips, they make that conversation, stuff like that, cool people. Then there's average customers, they're cool. They come in, they get their stuff, and they go. I can deal with that. Then there's the bad ones. These people stand around while I'm loading railroad ties and pressure treated 2x8x16s and plywood and junk. Well, I mean, not literally the railroad ties, because those suckers weigh like 140 pounds, but you, you, you get what I'm saying. Sometimes they get regular carts for 4x8 plywood and like 9 bags of concrete, which really is more on them because they now have to push it up to the front of the store but I mean it's still annoying having to figure out how to put it in the cart and sometimes they insist that I follow them through the entire store while they plan out their project I only know lumber guys I'm not knowledgeable in how the screws go into the plastic and the windows go into the frame and the electricity runs through the wires I don't know I work in lumber I'm a muscle guy <laughs> And possibly the worst part is making a whole line of people wait while I cut their 97 pieces of wood. Well, not literally 97 pieces of wood, but it's a lot. And it's every time it's ridiculous, I'm sitting there thinking like, can y'all rent a saw? As a wise butler once so eloquently put it, some men just want to watch the world burn. Let me tell you about one such customer. So one day in the break room, I overheard one coworker talking to another about a customer that they encountered. Let's call the coworker Julie. Julie works in the paint department. So one day, a customer walked up to Julie's department. Hi, what can I help you with today? Hi, I'd like to return this bucket of paint. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but we can't process returns on paint. Corporate policy. No, 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 look. I painted my whole room and I didn't like the color, so I'm bringing it back. I understand, sir, but we still can't. Wait, did you say that you painted the entire room? Yep. And you used the entire bucket? Yep. And you want a refund for an empty can of paint? Is that a problem? And that's just one customer. What's going on, people? That was my first story time type animation. I know it took a while. Sorry about that. My computer was being kind of crazy. Quick disclaimer. I don't hate my job. How it isn't a bad place to work, but it is retail and it can get frustrating. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you like it, leave a like. Check out my other videos. My next animation is in the works, and it's a Christmassy one, so keep your eyes open for that. God bless you guys. I'm out.